Hey everyone, Nathan from Minnesota Mobile Guy here. Mobile Hotspot, if you're not aware of it, is a feature included on most of today's smartphones. It allows you to share your data plan via that smartphone with another Wi-Fi enabled device. So a laptop or tablet or game console or iPod Touch, you name it. So it shares your data plan that you have with your carrier with that other device. Now, U.S. carriers like to be stingy and greedy and very restrictive when it comes to the hotspot capabilities. Um, some carriers don't offer it at all. Um, some carriers like T-Mobile put a cap on how much hotspot you can use. Um, some carriers like Sprint charge extra for the hotspot. And some carriers like Verizon and AT&T don't let you use the hotspot at all if you're using their phone with another service. So here I have with me today an AT&T Samsung Galaxy S4 that I have unlocked to work on my T-Mobile SIM. So we have, it's registered on T-Mobile there, we've got the LTE running there, so this is fully up and running on T-Mobile. Now I have Hotspot included in my T-Mobile plan, so I'm trying to go in and use Hotspot on this Galaxy S4. So we have the mobile Hotspot settings there. So if I go in and I try to turn it on, I get a message at the bottom that says mobile data is not available or invalid SIM. Well, mobile data is definitely available because we can see the LTEs right there. So that must mean that the invalid SIM part is what's messing with it. And that's AT&T putting software restrictions on the phone so that hotspot only works when you're using it with AT&T service and it does not work with any other carrier. But my business offers a service whereby I can get that hotspot enabled for you, thereby bypassing AT&T's restrictions. This is a phone that I've preset to do that, and so all I have to do is one little reboot to the phone here, and we'll be able to see that once it turns back on, hotspot does work with my T-Mobile SIM. All right, so we're all back up and running. And now when I go into the hotspot settings and I turn it on, I do not get the error message and I get the little notification up top that says it's enabled and then it gives me the information on which network name to look for. So again, that error message is gone. Hotspot is now working on this phone and we've successfully bypassed AT&T's block on it to be able to use with T-Mobile or whatever carrier that you're using it on. If you have an AT&T Samsung Galaxy S4 and want to get the hotspot enabled on it, go ahead and give me a holler. Keep in mind that this also works for AT&T users who may not have hotspot included in their plan. If you're on one of their older unlimited plans, for example, hotspot isn't included. I can also bypass that restriction and get the hotspot enabled for you. So if you'd like to get it done, go ahead and give me a holler. Contact details will be in the video description. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, también hablo español, así que no duden contactarse conmigo. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.